In this video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set up Beta FPV's ELRS Micro TX module and their ELRS Nano Receiver. So, here's the receiver. This is Beta FPV's ELRS Nano 900 millihertz receiver. They also make this in 2.4 gigahertz. The receiver is about the size of an XM Plus, maybe a little bit smaller. And here is the transmitter module. This is the micro version, but they also make this as a nano transmitter as well. So I have been using the ELRS protocol on all of my FR Sky R9 gear for the last couple of months and have been really happy with it. The ease of setup was really what made me switch all my gear to ELRS. I had some R9MM receivers that seemed to just not even work anymore, and I was able to flash it with ELRS, and now they work perfect. So I wanna show you guys just how easy it is to set up this Beta FPV ELRS gear. This combo right here will only run you about $50, which really isn't bad. We'll start with the receiver. One nice thing about the ELRS protocol is that you can flash and update the receivers just by plugging your drone into the computer and using the ELRS configurator. This was another big reason why I swapped all my R9 gear to run ELRS. So here I have an old flight controller. Let's get the receiver hooked up to this and then we'll get it connected to the computer and we'll flash it. So on the receiver, you have four pins down the bottom. You have RX, TX, voltage, and ground. And on your drone, you're gonna to wanna to basically just hook up RX to a TX pad and TX to an RX pad. And then voltage to a five volt source and then ground to ground. This is just an old F7 flight controller that I had laying around and I'm gonna go find a five volt source, ground, RX, and TX, and we'll get this soldered up. All right, so I got the receiver all hooked up to this flight controller. Let's go plug this into the computer and we'll flash this with the right firmware. All right, so first thing we need to do is make sure that the flight controller is able to connect to the receiver. So to do that, we have to plug into Betaflight. We'll launch Betaflight. And we'll go under ports. And just make sure that you have the correct UART selected for the receiver. So I just soldered my receiver up to UART 3. So I'm gonna uncheck this and just make sure it's on there. I'll hit save reboot. Now we'll go under configuration and make sure that you have SBUS, serial based receiver selected, and then make sure you select crossfire. I had this flight controller set up with my FR Sky gear, so this one's all set. I just had to change the UR. So once that's all set, just click save and reboot. Before you launch ELRS Configurator, make sure you disconnect from Betaflight. I would even close Betaflight. I'm going to plug the drone into the ELRS configurator. You'll see a light flashing on the receiver right here. And when we go under here, we'll just change this to the latest version, which is 2.3. Under target, select the receiver that you're using. I'm using 900, so I'm gonna select 900. Obviously, if you're using 2.4, select 2.4. For the device, we have a receiver. When we do the, T the transmitter module, we're gonna use this one down here. Select RX, beta flight pass through, standard, make sure you select the regulatory domain that you are in. I'm in the US, so FCC 915, and the rest of this looks good. And then just make sure you select the correct USB modem. Then click build and flash. This will do its thing. So that's the receiver. Now we can hit back. I will unplug the receiver and now we'll plug in the transmitter there we go got this hooked up so now we will go under here make sure 2.3 is selected you want the same firmware on the receiver as the TX and then we're gonna go 900 make sure 900 is selected again if you're using 2.4 obviously select 2.4 and then now we're doing the TX module. And since I'm using the micro module, I'm gonna select the micro. If you're using the nano module, just select this one. UART flashing method selected, standard, FCC, and all the rest of this looks good. Now just go under here and select Silicon Labs, build and flash, and it'll do its thing. There we go, all set. All right, so I have the module in the back of my QX7, so I'm gonna turn this on. I also already have the 
um, Express LRS Lua script running on this controller. For some reason, the joystick doesn't do anything online. I don't know why, if it's this version or uh, what, but if you go under your Lua scripts and you go to the Express LRS Lua script, you can configure all the settings and binding within this. So I'll keep that in that mode. Now what I'm gonna do is give the receiver power and you don't have to press down any buttons on this. You should see this light flashing on your controller. Just scroll down to bind and then just click bind. Solid light means that it's bound, so this should be ready to go. All right, so I got this hooked up to the computer. I have a solid blue light on here and I have bars on here. So it should be all bound up and I should have stick movement under the receiver tab. Look at that. Sick. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Ease of setup was one of the biggest reasons I swapped all my R9 gear to ELRS, and this Beta FPV equipment is even easier to set up. One thing to note, even though you can't get the binding phrase on these receivers, you can get the binding phrase on the transmitter like this. I tested out with some R9MM receivers because I have a bunch of them, and I was able to get this to bind with those receivers using the binding phrase feature. I'm gonna be installing this receiver in a 6S freestyle drone that I'm building, so keep an eye out for that video. That drone will be running all of this ELRS gear from Beta FPV. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and leave a comment. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of drone building tutorials, flight footage from projects, product reviews, and I'm even starting to run some giveaways. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those.